All right, guys, we've got an MP5K here from Shell Throw. I've shown you some other blasters from Shell Throw. Uh, this one's a little different. You can see the barrel's a little different instead of having a rail here for grip. And it's just got this sliding stock that I showed in the previous videos too. So we'll go ahead and we're going to test it. We're going to shoot it, test the FPS. Uh, so this magazine, it's important to prime these. Remember, I've talked about this a lot. You want to sit there and just click them until you get a gel ball to pop out. That means it's ready to go. So I've had decent luck with these magazines, and um, these blasters have had a couple different types of FPSs. I've seen some. Uh, there's one by VDD Toys that had an FPS as high as, you know, it would hit highs of 150 on average, like 135. Uh, but then we've also seen them really low, uh, down closer to 100, and that's where I've seen this one. So it's interesting because they're identical looking, and you would assume they'd have the same gearboxes like the majority of the identical looking blasters out there. But this one uh, seems to be, again, in that the weaker side. The VDD one is on the stronger side. All right, we see it's shooting good. Let's test the FPS here. I mean, that's a, the highest I saw was 115, but then there were a lot of under 100. So I think 100 average FPS is about right for this one. So that's a little, you know, disappointing that it's not stronger. It's a cool looking blaster. Um, you know, it's nice that they got these mechanical non-powered magazines working better. I uh, just would like to see it a bit stronger. So again, it's the Shell Throw MP5K. Comments, questions, post them below. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, subscribe, and of course, participate in all the giveaways I do. Thanks.